What's going on, you guys? Tyler, your wandering therapist here. Beautiful day out here. Snowstorm last night. <clears throat> Getting out for a little hike in the morning. I was just thinking about some things that are on my mind and thinking about people who I'm working with who are currently stuck and why they're staying stuck. And uh, the topic of privilege is coming to mind. So I want to talk a little bit about privilege. I know we get sick of hearing about this. It's all over the media all the time. People are clamoring about who's more privileged than who and what that actually means. And then people are trying to actually make policies and things based off of this idea of privilege. And uh, I just got thinking about this in my own brain. You know, we, the, the one that's most prominent we, talk, we hear about is, you know, either people who have a higher SES class, social economic class, or white privilege, or, you know, those, are the, those, have, been the, those have been the ones that are most popular, power, whatever else, race. Um, and, and I was thinking about this concept that that's true, that every one of us as individuals, we all come with our own sort of bag of both both struggles and challenges and and privileges and i think the discussion's going the wrong way that we can't we should just be able to embrace that there's different privileges and be grateful for what the privileges are that each one of us are afforded everybody and to move forward with our lives with pure accountability and that's where i think the most insidious form of privilege comes in is that the people who love to talk about privilege the most they they love to engage in the most insidious form of privilege which is victim privilege everybody's clamoring to try to climb underneath somebody else so that they can be a victim to somebody else and in doing so they're actually causing themselves to be stuck i believe that the pathway forward is actually by taking accountability for your own choices in the reality of the station of life that you're at right now and doing something with that to make a better life for yourself regardless of what the circumstances are People who do that, they find peace, they find joy, they find success in their lives. And when we try to stay stuck in the victim role, having had somebody do something to us, the privilege of somebody else in power, the privilege of somebody else's race, the privilege of somebody else's SES, we're wasting valuable energy and resources that we have towards creating the life that we were designed for. Staying the victim is the perfect way to victimize yourself. You're not a victim. You're living a life that has a certain set of circumstances and it's on you to take responsibility for living that life to the best of your ability and changing the things that you want changed and being grateful for the things that you have. So anyone who you talk to who sits and wants to talk about how everything is so unfair and that they're the victim over something, help them understand that they're the ones that are giving away their power. Your power lies in your ability to keep your choice. Your choice is connected to taking accountability. Accountability is the pathway to freedom, regardless of what your circumstances in life are. So hopefully that's helpful, you guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments. I could be wrong. I don't think I am. You guys have a great day. Thank you so much for being here with me. If you found this to be valuable for you, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you're facing particular struggles that you need help with or roadblocks that you're running into, please submit a question. I'd be happy to answer it for you.